What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC. Today we're taking a look at the EDCist pen. And this is designed to be a wearable EDC pen. The box doesn't exactly line up with that. You can see EDCist EDC knife on the planet. That's because this box is for their first product. And so that's a knife with a very similar form factor to the pen we're going to be taking a look at today. That was a Kickstarter campaign that was fully funded, fulfilled, and is now a product you can just buy on their website. So if you want that, I'll link to that in the description as well. But they shipped it in this box to me because they wanted some feedback before that campaign went live and the packaging just wasn't ready yet. And so you will get packaging that's in line with the product you're receiving, but they just shipped it out in this one for me. And so let's take a look at the pen first. You may have already spotted it if you're paying close attention. This is designed to be worn on your wrist on a watch strap. And so let's take a look at the pen and then we'll get into some of those more details. So super compact pen. This is really meant to be your secondary pen, your I forgot my pen pen, and you can just keep it on your watch and forget it. You can, they're pretty affordable, so you can put them on multiple watches if you cycle through different watches, or if you just wear one, one's perfectly fine. And so the size on this is 23 millimeters wide by 17 millimeters tall and about four and a half millimeters thick, although they may thicken that up to five millimeters just based on some feedback they've received, but they do note that in the Kickstarter campaign. And so you may be wondering, you know, watch bands aren't universal. How do how does it fit on all of your watches? They actually are launching with 14 different sizes. And so you order the size of the watch that you want to wear it with. So they have some universal sizes, 18 millimeters. This one's 20 millimeters. It keeps going in increments of two millimeters up to 26 millimeters. And then they have some built for very specific watch bands like certain Apple watch bands or multiple different G-Shock versions. And so you can get the one that makes the most sense or I had them send over the 20 millimeter because I have five watches with 20 millimeter bands, maybe six. And so it was just a universal size that I can swap out and test out with a bunch of different watches. This one's in black and you can see it really blends in nicely with that strap. Black's obviously already a hard color to show on camera, but it's not super noticeable. It's there if you're looking at the watch, but it doesn't stand out or draw attention. Now there's also a stealth gray if the black isn't your thing. And I would imagine once this is funded, we may see other colors of this as as well because that's what happened with the EDCist knife. Now let's get it out of here. Talk about the pricing. So $15 for a sheath and a pen and then there's different bundles that go two or three different colors. There's early bird pricing which is at $15. After that's up it goes up to $17 so still pretty affordable. Now a couple of things that I was a little bit you know, on the fence about until I actually had it in my hand. First being the size of this is pretty compact. How comfortable can it be to write with? So first thing to keep in mind is this isn't really meant for writing essays. It's really for jotting down quick notes. You know, you want to hand off your contact details or sign a receipt or a check or something like that, or just jot down a quick thought. It's for quick notes, but it is surprisingly comfortable, a lot more comfortable than if you had like a pencil sharpened down to this size for whatever reason. I think it's the rectangular shape with these triangle cutouts, the meteor fingers just kind of go in there and it actually does feel pretty natural. I'll show what the writing looks like in a moment here, but it does feel pretty natural. So I was happy about that. Now it's not replacing a full pen still, but significantly more comfortable than I was expecting. The second thing I was a little bit concerned about is the sheath here. How well does it house that? Is this going to be falling off? And I've never had it fall off. It doesn't seem to be losing any retention, even though I've taken it in and out of this several times. It doesn't seem to be losing any retention anytime soon. So that's a great thing. It's also just kind of placed, and obviously the placement may vary, but for the most part, it's going to be placed somewhere on your wrist that's less likely to take an impact. Now, the front of the watch is a lot more likely to take an impact. I'm sure we've all scraped our watches on walls, hit them on poles, things like that because it's on the outside of your arm. But this portion of your arm really isn't hitting that many things that often. Maybe more likely if you're reaching into a small space, it's going to get hit, but that's going to be a softer impact than if you're walking or running and swinging your arms. And so I haven't had any issues with that falling out. Now, the last one is maybe a little bit of an issue still, but does come with a refill and they do sell refills on their site. And that's just the size of the inkwell here. So you can see it's pretty small. It's from tip to the end of the ink is going to be 27 millimeters. And they're going to ship with an extra ink replacement. You can also buy them on their site after the campaign is up, or you can just make your own. It accepts anything with a 
2.8 millimeter to 3.2 millimeter diameter ink and you just clip it off you measure from the tip to your clip point to 27 millimeters and so you can just clip it off and replace it now that is wasting a bunch of ink so maybe better to just order from them the body of this pen the sheath itself are made in france the ink that it ships with and the replacements that you can buy are made in korea but that prevents you from clipping them off and just wasting all of that extra ink and so really cool concept here i do think i'm going to pick up that knife because it's still available and just seems like a really fun combo to carry on your watch i'm super into these weird like gadget things and they're just kind of cool and different fun thing to talk about feel like a spy tool and so that's really my jam for sure but pretty cool item now as far as riding it does like i said feel pretty natural and if you don't like the way this specific ink writes you can replace it with your favorite as long as it fits into those measurements which is a lot of really common pens and so in terms of writing you can see my writing isn't the best anyway so i wouldn't blame that on the pen but it does have a nice writing it flows well you don't see a lot of skipping or anything on the page and it was pretty comfortable to write that i wasn't writing slow to kind of make up for the size it just felt pretty natural overall which i was pretty happy with so definitely check this out if this is something you think you might be interested in again those will be linked in the description i'm going to remove this watch actually so we can see how that goes on and off like i said it's as simple as you might expect you can just slide it off the end of there and now you have this housing it just has this back section with a little bit of weight saving you can see there's a bar that kind of goes out to keep it a little bit more snug on the watch i don't know how well that will pick up and you just slide it through there and they're all going to be the same just a little bit different width and this one has the measurements right on the side 20 millimeters so if you have a bunch of them and you don't know which one's going with which watch they do put it on the side so easy to tell there and like i said available in two colors with the initial run but let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting that notification button, or even joining the channel as a member. And as always, hope you have a great one. Take care.